Well, Ho Calvary, good to see you this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whatever you're tuning in for your word for the day. It's always great to have you here and uh, hope that this is a inspiring and helpful portion of your day as you're watching this. Uh, and I got a question for you. If, you. if someone were to say, hey, if you could be anywhere, where would you be right now? Um, and maybe you say, hey, I want to be in Hawaii or I want to be in Tahiti. I, I like uh, tropical locations, if you can't tell. Uh, or maybe I want to be at the taco shop or wherever uh, it is. What is your answer? Where would you say, hey, I want to be here right now? Because I think it's, it's easy to think about all the, the, the destinations here on our planet that we would want to travel to, we'd want to visit, we'd want to escape our reality maybe and be in. But, but I wonder if we're missing something. I wonder if longing for just another destination here on Earth, another travel spot, a, a tropical destination point, Maybe we're missing an opportunity to escape the, the mundane, the frustrating parts to a different destination. See, in Psalm chapter 84, it says, For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than dwell in the tents of the wickedness. It goes on to explain the blessing of being with the Lord and, and the greatness of following Him. And I wonder if maybe we place too much of our longing on temporary things here on earth instead of realizing the, the power and the satisfaction that can come in simply spending time in the presence of the Lord. Maybe if, if you're struggling and wondering where you can escape to, where you can uh, get rid of the stress that you have, the burdens of your week, Maybe that's not a trip to a beach in Mexico or a flight to Hawaii or, or an escape to the mountains where there's no cell service or Wi-Fi. But maybe the escape that you need is simply to escape and be in the presence of the Lord, to, to experience His power, to experience His goodness and glory in your life, and to simply remember that He's bigger than your problems. He's bigger than your stress. He's bigger than the, the, the adversity you're facing. And so today, let me encourage you to spend some time with the Lord. Not just in this video, don't say, oh, I've got my Bible in for today. But let me encourage you to go read Psalm chapter 84 as it talks about the, the, the power of being with the Lord and how it's better to be with Him for just a small sliver of time than to have abundant amounts of time anywhere else. So let me encourage you to spend some time there. And, and, and when you're done, don't just close up the Bible and move on. But then take a few minutes with no timer, with no set uh, agenda, and just pray. And spend time with God, talking, listening, enjoying His presence. Maybe put on some worship music after, or maybe just make it a point throughout the day to be meditating and thinking on Psalm chapter 84 about the glory of the Lord and how wonderful it is to simply be with Him. Far better to be with Him than unlimited amounts or unlimited blessings anywhere else in all the earth. So I hope that you have a great day spending time with the Lord and enjoying the glory of His presence. Have a good one, Calvary.